We are back into meme coin season and PopCat is up almost 50% this week. Let's have a look at some on-chain data. Let's have a look at who's driving this rally, who's buying here, who's selling here and how much longer could this rally potentially last. So we are currently at 73 cents. We gained 46% this week and the volatility in PopCat is massive. We've seen multiple crashes of 60 and 70%. Now let's have a look at who's actually trading PopCat. So those are on-chain metrics directly taken from the Solana chain. And we are splitting up the trading volume by different cohorts. So small retail is all wallets that have less than $1,000 worth of PopCat. For medium retail, we go at 10x from that. So that's $1,000 to $10,000. Large retail is 10,000 to 100,000 and whale is everything above $100,000 worth of PopCat. Now let's just have a look at the largest of the traders, the whales and the large retail. The fraction of wallets that impact the price over time that are very large in size. So at least $10,000 worth of the token that tends to increase over time. It used to be somewhere around the 5% mark. Now it's rather around 20%. Now, instead of normalizing the trading volume to 100%, we can also look at this measured in US dollars. That's this chart over here. There's an interesting turning point at around end of February of this year. So we had two major spikes of attention, one during Christmas of last year and one in the middle of January of this year. And then it got rather silent, but something happened since the end of February of this year, trading volume stays elevated. Now what happened at the time? Centralized exchange listings happened. So now it's not just trading on chain, it's also the gate IOs, Binance's, Maxis and Qcoins of this world that allow trading of PopCat. And they obviously hold their own market making stake as well. They don't just hold tokens in the name of the customers. And so let's have a look at the relative valuation. So this is now PopCat relative to SOL, to the Solana token. And why do we look at the relative valuation and not just at the US dollar chart? It's because I want to see outperformance. If we take on more risk by buying a meme coin rather than just the ecosystem token, then we want to get more return. For PopCat, the additional risk was properly compensated. It outperformed SOL by almost 3000%. And so the first vertical line is when centralized exchanges started adopting PopCat. And this was also the start of a continued outperformance of the token. The second vertical line is when I last time made a video on PopCat. Interestingly enough, the video underperformed. It didn't get that many views. The title was PopCat is too high. And subsequently, PopCat did underperform by 45%. At the time, there wasn't a lot of new money flowing into the token. And it looked like the centralized exchanges were manipulating the price to a degree. We are going to look at very similar metrics in this video as well in a second. Because I believe there are two major drivers for meme coin prices. The first one is simply adoption by a lot of retail investors that tend to push up the price. The second driver, and that's not too small either, is manipulation by the centralized exchanges. When centralized exchanges own a lot of the token, they might sometimes manipulate the price temporarily, short term, to the upside or to the downside. That's why I like to look at on-chain metrics to see how many people are actually behind a certain rally or behind a certain crash. This is how we were able to find out that at least temporarily the price was somewhat elevated. Currently, just looking at the relative valuation, a very simplistic approach, but we are going to look at the data in a second. The potential risk versus SOL is 28% roughly. The potential reward may be 86. But yeah, I do publish videos on PopCat regularly on this channel. So if you don't want to miss the next video, feel free to subscribe. But let's look into the data. What we see over here is different kinds of holders. We are segregating by three different types. On the left, we've got small retail. So that's the number of wallets over time that have at least a thousand PopCat tokens. At the current price, that's $732 worth of the token. For the chart in the middle, we go at 10x from that. So that's a minimum holding of $7,000. On the right, we've got the large whales. That's a minimum holding of $70,000 worth of the token. Isn't it interesting how the number of retail investors tends to grow over time and how the number of medium-sized retail tended to stop growing in the last six months and how the number of whale wallets is completely flat since beginning of the year. Even though more and more trading volume is dominated by the larger wallets, the net holding does not necessarily increase. 
And so pretty much all of the price appreciation we have seen in the last months is solely due to retail. This 600% outperformance versus Solana seems to be driven by the number of retail wallets growing roughly 50%. But again, those are just the on-chain metrics, right? We don't know what happens inside the centralized exchanges. Those are black boxes. So right now, at least idiosyncratically, the trend in PopCat seems to be healthy. In other words, I do believe PopCat has a good chance to continue to outperform SOL. That being said, Solana itself is already very high and the air might be getting thin for the US dollar valuation of Solana. This is the Solana dominance over time. Solana is currently 3.2% of all of crypto in terms of market cap. And we haven't gotten beyond this for the last nine months. If things turn sour, then the potential downside versus the rest of crypto could be 84%. So any outperformance of a Solana meme coin has to come from the meme coin adoption. It's not going to come just from the SOL US dollar price going up, at least relative to Bitcoin and relative to Ethereum. The Solana dominance is already pretty high. And so what is gaining dominance? It's for example, Bitcoin. People get more and more afraid. People get more and more risk off. And the same can be seen in the stablecoin dominance. So the fraction of crypto that's in stablecoins tends to increase since March of this year. It used to be at 5.1%, now it's at 7.8%. Since March, April of this year, we don't see the market cap of stablecoins growing anymore. So there's no new money flowing into crypto from the fiat system. Inflows equal outflows. So this is now 100% a player versus player game. Now this YouTube channel has a premium membership and in premium, we are following various other influencers. So we're trying to find the wallets of other influencers we're tracking those wallets and we get notifications whenever other influencers buy. And this can be useful because it gives us a potential hint before a cryptocurrency gets promoted. So for example, we see over here how Kyle Chessy is dollar cost averaging into PopCat since August 8th of this year. So every now and then $3,000 worth of PopCat has been bought. This is the influencer we are following. We are, by the way, following more than 200 wallets. And he bought when the price was at 64 cents or 53 cents. Currently, we are at 73 cents. And so there's two parts to this game. The first game is finding the wallet, right? Trying to figure out what wallet belongs to what influencer. The second part is trying to find out what kind of signals are actually useful. There are tutorials in premium on both topics, how to find influencer wallets via NFTs or via the current holdings or transaction amounts or via related transactions with DBank, Frantec, Arkham. There's all kinds of approaches. We are looking at centralized exchange deposit wallets. We're looking at related wallets and we then set up alerts with Telegram bots like Etherdrops, Arkham, Cielo, etc. The last and longest video is how to interpret those alerts. So if this is something for you, feel free to check it out. There's a one week money back guarantee. It's the bitcoinstrade.com. Link is down below. And if your portfolio isn't yet large enough to justify premium, there's also a free Telegram. The link is as well down below. Looking very forward to chatting with you. Cheers.